Hi, Charlie. Yesterday, I was kind of like angry with the Super Eagles. I wasn't expecting them to draw. I wasn't expecting them to draw at all with uh, Ikotura Guinea. I wasn't. I was expecting us to beat the hell out of them. Maybe like uh, 2 0 or 3 0. I wasn't even expecting Ikotura Guinea to score one goal. But unfortunately, they were the ones that even scored us first. But uh, thank God to Victor Sime, who quickly uh, saved Nigeria yesterday without a goal close to the half time, 38 minutes. I'm very, very happy with Victor Sime for saving us yesterday. Yesterday, I was pissed. A lot of Nigerians were still pissed, though. Really, really pissed because we performed poorly. The the ball wasn't really stable. Although we have a lot of shots, so I think you even check the chart. 19 shots for Nigeria and uh, seven shots for Ikotura Guinea. That's to say, if Ikotura Guinea had opportunity like Nigeria, they would have trashed us. We dominated that that field because if you check the ball uh, possession, okay, just one uh, percent though. We had the uh, 51 percent. We had the uh, the 338 passes versus uh Equatorial Guinea having 333 passes. So we kind of like dominated the whole game. So are we expecting to score? We're having so much uh shots, we were having so much uh, chances, and yet we were able to utilize it. And we have someone like Victor Simon. Thank God Victor Simon make use of that chance. Thank God, if not, they will have been dealt with yesterday. And uh, see, this is the first stage, guys. This is the first stage. And uh, I don't want to hear any story that Nigeria didn't make it to the next stage, honestly. At least, let us make it to the next stage first before we start thinking about uh, winning the cup. Because a lot of people now believe that Nigeria, there is no way Nigeria can win the cup. But this is usually the case, though, because uh, we do not really have that confidence on our super ego team and i don't know why i don't know why but me i kind of like have a lot of confidence on them though they might fumble now but then again they will pick up someone if, if you remember world cup you saw how argentina fumbled argentina fumbled the first uh, the first match now even fumbled the second match they able kind of like it was a slim chance for them to be able to move from that first stage and guess what? They won the World Cup. So maybe something like that can happen to Nigeria as well. Hmm? Something like that can definitely happen to Nigeria as well. So yesterday I was pissed. Very, 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 very hungry. Until when I watched Ghana versus Cape Verde, Cape Verde match. <laughs> Cape Verde, who are nowhere close when it comes to the uh to the if you are talking to if you are talking about the football giants of africa cape are nowhere close to top 10. ghana you might put them as top five self or maybe six positions seven positions if if i may be uh uh correct cape dealt with them yesterday two two one 2-1, dominated them, dealt with them well. Dominate, do you know the meaning when uh, they dominate you from head to toe? They dominated Ghana well from head to toe down. So watching Ghana lose yesterday, it's not as if I was happy. No, no, no. Let me, I was happy, but it was giving some kind of a sense of joy. I don't know why I was getting that joy. I don't know why if I'm an enemy of progress because I've never been an enemy of progress. I don't understand my the way my joy was just coming from anywhere, but I'm not the kind of person that derives joy from people's sadness. But yesterday I was just happy for nothing. I don't know why. Up to now, I keep asking myself, why was I happy that Ghana lose yesterday? Why? When I know Ghana is our brothers here, yeah. why was I even happy? Well, they dead the hell out of Ghana yesterday. <laughs> Not only did they dealt with them, Cape uh, Vadel were the one that dominated the feed, dominated everything. Check the position. Ghana had only 
10 shots. 10 shots. And they came about 15. They need to check the shot on target. Then they are just one. One shot on target. They keep at five. Then the possession, oh, you check Ghana at forty six percent. It even can be below self. Why keep fifty four percent? They had the uh, thirty still under forty passes for Ghana and still under ninety two passes. So you saw how they dominated everything. I even check the uh, the the lineup. You saw uh, Ghana here. They are they were playing at the formation of four two three one yesterday. Why uh, Cape were playing the formation of 4 3 3 yesterday? So there was no way. There was no way for them. <laughs> uh, even Ghana, self, even the Ghana people, like someone like Shatawone, was mocking Ghana yesterday. You know, you guys are your own enemy. That's what I keep telling Ghana. You guys are your own enemy. Nobody. Even uh, Shatawone was mocking you guys yesterday. Check. I don't have. A, I don't want to talk right now. I have headache for my head. So tomorrow, I'll I'll, I'll just give you uh, uh, information. Go, uh, go, go, go. Ah, uh, no uh, size. Ah, uh, uh, stand up, ah, uh, boy. Uh, see the guy face. He look like Jesus movie guy. Uh, see the player. Ah, uh, no size. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't see, 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 that guy is in color, like my color. Pepe, pepe. Hey, no size. Hey, see Koliko. Hey, hey, see color. He cross the color. Hey, hey, it's a go. Hey, the guy look like me, man. Oh, I think um, there is something wrong because, you see, when we scored a goal, the referee stood there more than 30 minutes. No, he spent more than 10 minutes watching the VAR. And I don't know what happened. They did not also give us the play, the, the replay. So we didn't see anything. All we know is that there was a VR checking. And then he went there, we did not see anything. All he came out and tell us that the goal had been disallowed by the VR. And I think it wasn't an outside goal. It was a clean goal. I think they are cheating us. You saw us. We had a, a clean penalty. He refused to give us the penalty. So I don't know exactly what is going on. But I think they should talk to the referee. They should talk to the referee. We want a fair play. They should give us a, a fair officiating. After that, Whoever scores, fine. But for you to cheat us, we don't we don't want that. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm always calm. You know, I'm always calm about things because yeah. when, you see, like when you see this type of situations, but you know, we lack a lot of experience and you know, I know you can't say anything, but at the end of the day, if you look at the squad that we have, and more than ten is the first half come. Yeah. More than ten is the first half come. So this type of mistakes will happen and we need to learn we need to learn quick because the husband is not waiting for anyone and you know it's it's not it's not easy it's hard but uh, we're men and we need to stand up and, and face the reality casa 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 team le team for ka kai mais c'est team le team for ka kai we mo ah la 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 ta mo team mo ba boy si boy mo boy si boy la ta be team ya ba ap for the what i say oil local brand dia say wanemo o be team ya ba for the let you say you can't get your home I'm telling you, not to let you have a good way. Look up at Jeff Animal. When you had him, I said, Yes, I'm watching. What about the boy? Come on, control. 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 Come you will, you will always blame other people for your mistakes. <laughs> they will always blame other people for their mistakes. That buried the ref. That game was a clean game yesterday. Clean game. There was nothing wrong with any officiating or nothing. There was nothing wrong with it. Clean game yesterday. You had every chances. Well, <laughs> uh, like I've said before, I don't understand why I'm still happy today. Because it's not a really great thing for us to be, for me to be happy that uh, Ghana, my brother and sister here, who we are close together, I'm happy for them to have lost. No, Ghana need to really come back and really work really, really hard. Like, like that guy said, uh, uh, Afghan is not waiting for anybody. Yeah, you have every chance for over the years to prepare your prepare your squad. You're supposed to bring your best squad there. Then you are coming to the coming to the to the game to start preparing. 
No, you are wasting your goddamn time now. You are supposed to come to the game, play your best, and start uh, just be doing some kind of a check, checks and balance. Not coming to the game to start preparing and checking out for people again. Nah, nah, nah. You're gonna, you, 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 you. oh god, damn it, man. Just the kid who, who don't know nothing, like, absolutely. Don't be able to surprise the people who's gonna win this year, of course, it will be a country that no one is even hearing about. But other people play do and they won't know. But Nigeria and the Ghana is what I really, really focusing on. Nigeria again yesterday messed up. Really, really messed up, honestly. Really, really messed up. We had the ball possession. We had the shot on target. We had everything. Our possession was great. The shot on target, great. Everything. Just imagine. Shot on target for Nigeria. We had seven shots on target. Why Ikutoro Guinea had just one shot of shot on target. And that one shot on, on target is what they utilize to the goal. Just imagine. Just one. That means if they had all that one and it's they they would have messed it all up. We had seven shots of shot on target. Come on, man. Seven. And we dominated everything about that match. I will check our ball, uh, our 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 uh, lineup. Four one, four one. That is a, that is a, actually a great lineup, though. And the other one uh, for the Kotora Guinea, they are the four two three one. Abba. We need to really work out the whole please we, we see this game it belongs to us we have to win this year half come i'm rooting for nigerians for us to win this year half come i don't care what people are saying i'm rooting for nigeria nigeria have to win it and again uh, when it comes to let's move for our call you know yesterday we talked about uh, a uh, marrying a 10 years old girl when this 18 years old girl people have been blasting and saying oh she's after sergio money mother how a 18 years old girl after after Sanjo's money's money? He's 18 years old now. She never wise like that now. Ah. We tell you 16 years old or wise old. She's 18 years old. And Sanjo Mane uh, plucked her young. So Sanjo Mane knows exactly what uh, he's doing. Sanjo Mane possibly said, Sanjo Mane told his family, please, I want to marry. Can you find me a very responsible, hardworking girl? From the village and who is a virgin, yeah, and they search for this girl for for for, for him. Abba, why not? And according to the girl now, she said, "His money and fame will not change me. I'm not interested in that." Ah, that is coming for Sajos mother's wife, Asha Tamba. Asha Tamba said that Sajos mother's money and fame is not what she is concerned about. She's just concerned about her husband, though. You people should leave her alone, though. The money and fame has nothing to do with her at all. I think you guys should respect her. Eh? Respect her. Respect her. Not every girl has eyes on money. 